danger and the government is not exactly, you know, the, the, the old story of, of, of the X-Files, of the, the, the aliens are not the bad guys, the government is. Um, I have a lot of qualms of conscience, a lot of qualms of some of the things I've done. But I have never, well, let's say, I never met an alien I didn't like. And um, I think that was a unique, that plus the experiences I had as a child. And suddenly, at nine years old, trying to prove a relationship between uh, viruses and the inducement of epithelioma in white mice was not typically some somebody nine years old is going to do. I first started testing um, a um, light beam, uh, modulated light beam transmitter, which my brother did see me do and vectored in UFOs. And the way to do it was to tell them, ask, ask them very kindly, would they do certain maneuvers to prove that they were receiving the message. And then my brother does substantiate that. We also lived in a garden apartment that was next to a forest. And uh, my brother saw several times my walking into the forest saying, I'm going into the house. I don't recall that, but um, after years, I began to remember there was a clearing and that they did come in very low and did land in that forested area. Uh, my brother even saw them. So he does support my contentions. Um, my sister, unfortunately, is mentally ill. And I haven't spoken to my sister, we're 10 years apart. I'm 56 and she is 46 and still needing to be supported. Um, she, tragically, uh, I'm, I'm very sad about her. But uh, she has given some disinformation to people who used it rather than call my brother, who's only two years younger than I, and knew that we were getting visits from rather strange people and that things very, very unusual were happening. Let me ask you, uh, but if you, uh, now, what, what were the things that I didn't deny here again specifically? Um, I ultra, it's, it's a classification called Umbra Ultra, which some people say it's a cosmic clearance. I, I have always, it's a keystone document or a keystone activity with an ultra umbra clearance, which means it's not so many levels above Q. I, I only was aware of seven levels above Q, and I was given, as time passed, access more and more to what I had already had experience, and that is contact with ETI and their technology. The bioluminescence project, you refer to plants, that's for bioluminescence, and we found that the so-called living conveyances that, you know, the films from Mexico and many of these things have shown that these conveyances can split uh, into one piece, into two, into three, into four, and then reform. That's a living conveyance. It's organic material. Now, is it? And that's why I was brought in on bioluminescence and botany because there is 
and also salicylates, um, silica. As a matter of fact, um, I call computers my silicon uh, soulmates because silicon is a basis of life elsewhere. Where did you get such a background in botany and chemistry? Uh, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Um, I, I did study um, a lot more botany uh, in pre-med, um, a lot more chemistry, organic chemistry specifically, in preparation for the work I had to do. Now, I do have some qualms about how aliens have been treated. Uh, and I will, I will voice them um, as long as I live, which I don't expect to be. You know, I'm, I'm, you found out things that I would never have said. And I don't know how you found out, but I have to congratulate you that uh, your sources are, are much, they're very inside. What, can you, can you uh, expound on what you were doing between June 72 and uh, June of 77? You already know. Well, can you expound on that to the, the people watching this? Not, well, as someone, a friend of yours, who told me that that period was very profound for me, that yes, it was. It was profound in that I learned more than I was, than my team members as team leader. I learned a lot more than I could tell them. What what type of things did you learn? Can you talk about that at all? No. Generally, you have it more specific than I do. Uh, than I'm willing to talk about. Uh, you might as well fill in the blanks because you have much, much more. You've got page. You know. Do you think uh, uh, some of the experiences could have been erased from your memory on your debriefing, debriefing from the government? Uh, I worked on memory capping and mind control and MK Ultra, which, by the way, was never discontinued. Uh, remote viewing. Um, I have a friend who, um, who is a scientist, who is, had something very, very important to do with remote viewing, and, uh, of course, the whole business of parapsychology comes into fear now, that if people can view the contents of a safe from thousands of miles away, then the brain, well, that, that's going back to the gateway treatment that I talk about in my book, that we use no more than 10% of the neuronic and, uh, I should say, moronic, because we have billions of um, neurons and potentially billions of new synapses, plural, that could be formed. 